mess with my head too, alright? Please don't stuff this up. Shh. Let's just say the beanie's staying on. I told you not to stuff it up! Yeah, nah, that's, that's my bad. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, seriously though, this quarantine thing really needs to end soon because man, I need a decent haircut, like seriously. You should've just kept your dress! Yes, I know, my bad. Oh. Hey guys, Moshi Moshi, hope you're staying safe and washing your hands. On this video, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks or rather how to better utilize the 85 millimeter focal length. So an 85 millimeter lens with a fast aperture is well known for its ability to like blur out the background. There is a broad range of lenses that are able to do this, but I feel like the 85 millimeter focal length is like kind of a sweet spot for most photographers. And you see it all the time in portraits, wedding photos, and pretty common in, actually really common in a lot of B-roll. And it happens to be my only prime lens and go-to focal length for portraits. It is amazing at portraits. This is the first full frame lens I invested in and haven't regretted it. I still use it to this day. And this is mainly for beginners just getting into portrait photography and I wanna like show you how to capitalize on that shallow depth of field that you're able to achieve with this lens. Just a quick tip, make sure in your camera settings that you're shooting at your lowest aperture. Like this lens shoots at 1.8, that's as low as it can go, but there are lenses out there that can go to 1.4, 1.2, 1, I believe. And the lower the aperture, the more meshed in together the background becomes and just really brings out that Boker. And then what you want to do if you have a subject, if they're standing too close to the background, pull them away from the background, like from a backdrop or anything like that. Because the more closer your subject is to the background, the more the background will be in focus with your subject. So what you want to do is bring the, your subject closer in. That will encompass your subject with that blurry goodness behind them and that's the that's what we're trying to achieve here. But if you do want the background in focus and that's what you're going for, then go right ahead and let me tell you what to do. If you follow Brandon Wolfel, you may already know of this tip, but see the 85 millimeter focal length doesn't just blur out the background, but it also blurs out the floor. 85 millimeter lens doesn't just blur out the background, but it also blurs out the foreground. So the portrait feature on iPhones is able to achieve that background blur, but, but when trying to add an element in the foreground, it really can't differentiate between what's in front and what's behind, and that's why sometimes it'll look a bit whack when you take a portrait on an iPhone. Adding elements into the foreground just adds a whole lot of more interest into the photo and like just brings them more to life. A lot of people do this just using leaves or crystals, glass. You can really use whatever you want really. So I do recommend trying that. This next tip is more catered towards landscape photography. Like you think for landscapes you want to bust out a wide angle lens and you're not wrong, but sometimes in the scenery you see something that stands out to you and you want to capture that. Ideally you'd want a 7200, but 85 millimeter is the only thing you got. It is what it is, um, but sometimes the 85 millimeter is able to pull it off. Like this one time I went out with my mate to the mountains and I, went and I saw the layers in the mountains and I really wanted to capture that. So I did take a photo with my wide angle lens to capture everything, but then I really wanted to focus in on those, those mountain layers. But then I pulled out the 85 millimeter and I was able to capture the image that I wanted. The 85 mil do be working on landscapes. And that'll be all for today. It ain't much, but hopefully someone learned something because I just want to start putting out what's in here out there, you know, because I don't know, I feel like I have some interesting ideas in here that I want to bring out sometimes, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something. Um, wash your hands. That was supposed to be a peace sign.